Hey y'all, this is A.L. Thick Madame and Cinnamon Sugar, and we are back for another recap review for The Shy. So on this second to last episode that aired, because y'all know I'm behind by three weeks now, um, but I'm almost caught up. Can't help it. That wasn't my fault. I don't know if y'all heard the foolishness that just happened right now, but yeah, that's the reason why constant foolishness going on above me. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this recap review. So on this episode, we end up seeing uh, Emmett and Keisha at the house, and they're basically confirming that they are together. And it's early in the morning. They start having sex. And out of nowhere, Tiffany, still having a key to the house, then came in the house, sees them in compromising positions, is in her feelings. He trying to figure out what she doing there. And she was like, I was coming to pick our son up like we agreed that I would do. So she's definitely still hard, deep off of her feelings about them being together. And I'm like, girl, please get over it. Get over it. <laughs> get over it. <sighs> I don't understand why people are so hung up on super toxic people i i don't understand or at least if he's changed he was very toxic when he was with you so anyway we end up seeing jacob and victor having a moment where jacob was like you know she ain't coming back is she referring to their mother and he's trying to explain to him that their mother has a sickness which she does and it's really sad. I really hate situations like that. I really hate that. I have just been blessed enough to have both of my parents be in my life and be very present. They are happily married. So I know what a healthy and thriving relationship looks like. I just haven't experienced it for myself. And that is mainly my fault. I wanted to believe things that weren't true about people. I try to see the good in people. And instead of me just seeing them for who they were, I just wanted to see them for what I thought they could be. That was my fault. And it is what it is. You live and you learn. So moving forward, it is what it is. So anyway, he then goes to tell him that Gemma's pregnant. So now he going off. And he was like, we already tried to have this conversation. You told me she wasn't pregnant. What about my campaign? All this other stuff. So they start fighting full blown, like arguing argument going down i'm just like oh my gosh it's too much and he looking at him like jacob like i told y'all in the last one like jacob really be trying hard to like prove that his attitude and everything about him has changed for the better because y'all know he was out here in these streets and i ain't know if they could save him but he seemed to have been doing a whole lot better but it's like the fact that he's been like walking away when these situations get heated instead of like reacting in a way that you would typically see a child his age react i'm actually i'm actually proud of it like victor the one acting the way that you would think that he would act so i'm like why don't you grow up victor anyway so Gemma is talking to her daddy her daddy wants to know like what her options are and you know how she plans to go about this and her future and she like look everything you talking about that's what you wanted for me you wanted me to be in school. You wanted all of this for me. That ain't never been what I wanted personally for myself. All that sounds good and dandy. Um, at this point, I do want to keep this child. My options are there or whatever, but I do want to keep this child. Now, how you feel about it? Because at this point, she was worried about how Jacob was going to react. And she's definitely worried about how her daddy's going to react. But her daddy ultimately, you know, provided a lot of solace and was like, look, whatever you decide, I'm here with you. So it is what it is. And I'm like, good, because that was not going to be a good situation at all. Emmett was pretty much going to forget that there was a parent teacher conference until Tiffany reminded him that he'd better be there. So he was like, oh, that's today. And she was like, yeah, like I thought. So anyway, um, it's very awkward. Keisha ended up leaving because she made it seem like she had to go try to get some stuff squared away or whatever. And it's like the whole situation was just awkward because she had to go in the back, put her clothes on, get ready to leave out and all this other stuff because of the situation that happened earlier in the episode. Child, I just can't. So anyway, um, Maisha is listening to her newest song that she wrote. 
And while she's listening to it, we see Mel and it's saying that she's in. And I'm guessing that it is from a college that has accepted her because y'all know she does exceptionally well in school, but her passion is rapping, singing and all of that. So not sure if she's going to go down that path, but still have education as a backup plan i'm hoping that she kind of will but i don't know like the way things are nowadays it's like do what you you know do what you need to do for yourself do what makes you happy so we'll see where that goes we end up seeing kevin taking heed and he's actually kind of spending some time with lene and they're playing video games and so it's obvious that she don't like the girlfriend. And she straight up tells him, I don't like her. You know, she weird. And it is what it is. And so, she was like, well, I guess this new gamer group is teaching you all these tricks and whatnot. And he was like, when I play with you, I end up playing better. And she was like, yeah, that's true. So, he's going to invite her to the next little event. But the girlfriend is going too. So it's kind of like, I mean, it is what it is. They're going to have to try to get along because y'all got to share him. <laughs> like, it is what it is. So, hey, do what y'all got to do. So we ended up seeing Deja, I think is what Shaw's girlfriend's name is. She's talking to Shaw and she's trying to prep him because he's going to meet her family. Her father is very stern. And even though her biological mother won't be there, the stepmama is there and all this other stuff is going to be there or whatever, other family members. But over here, reciting stuff. And I'm like, okay. Like, like what is going on with this? Like, he's learning. Like, he learned, like, really quickly what needed to be said. But at the same time, I already knew this was coming. She was like, well, can you leave out the fact that you've been in prison? And, you know, eventually I'm going to tell them, but can you leave it out of this first conversation? And, you know, he took offense to that, of course, but for her, he was like, yeah, I guess so. So anyway, Emmett and Tiffany are at the school. They arguing in front of the teacher, like doing the most. And they were like, look, your son is a joy. We live for him and all of that, but he's having some issues as of late. Like, are y'all reading with him before he goes to sleep? Or are y'all reading to him in general? And so Emmett was like, he reads to him sometimes and all this other stuff. But they were like, look, y'all need to take more of an interest in your son and do what y'all need to do. Work together. Like, the teacher went off on them. <laughs> and I'm here for it. She went off and was like, your son is the priority. Y'all need to do what y'all need to do so that he does not end up um, having some kind of developmental delay and all that because he is doing well. We want him to continue to thrive. Like, do what y'all need to do. Keisha at the school, Lord, finally in the dorms again, child. And little Ronnie crying. The people next door playing their trap music all loud. She banging on the wall trying to get them to stop. They done turned it off for the moment. She done finally got little Ronnie to settle down. They done played, they done played the music out loud. She in her feelings. Like, it's too much stuff going on. Emmett, Tiffany, the baby. School work that she ain't been doing because she's screwing him at every waking moment you look at her. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you need to focus on your child and your school work. Emmett need to come last. I'm sorry. It is what it is. So anyway, uh, as we continue to say over and over again, Gemma is coaching Maisha on her stage presence and how she needs to perform and all of this. And at first she feels some type of way, but then she was like, you know what? You know, it is what it is. You write and I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Thank you. And so she ends up actually seeing that letter and she was like, okay, so what is this? And so she was like, girl, what you going to do? Like, and so Maisha was like, I would rather be here. And a lot of that stuff is my mama's dream and all of that and i just wanted to be able to get out the house so i wouldn't be one of the many children that are there and in the way and stuff i need to do like i ain't got time for this jada uh not jada uh um, um, i don't know I, deja deja has taken it upon herself to keep coming out of her pocket to get all this stuff for shot she took him to go get crispy got his hair cut got tailor-made suits and things for him so that the family can like what he look like on the outside. And once they get to know him, once 
they drop the bomb on them about the fact that he's been imprisoned, it won't be as bad. So he was about to pull out the weed and start smoking. And so she was like, um, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to go in there smelling like weed. And he was like, dang, weed legal now? What you mean? Like, I just want to be able to relax and calm my nerves. And so she was like, I would love to do the same thing too. But, you know, can you wait until after dinner at least? So, you know, he obliged. Well, now we see Kevin and Lene and his girlfriend. They're all at the gaming situation. They're both supposed to support him. The girlfriend gave him a bag of crystals, which I already told y'all before. I'm here for that. Um, she's trying to, you know, help him into, uh, uh, help him to understand that he can have good luck, not just with the words, but with the meditations and stuff that she's doing and with those crystal crystals. Oh, I want, I want the exact ones that she gave him. I want the authentic ones so bad. And when I saw them in bracelet form from somebody who was, like I said before in the uh, previous video, there are people who I follow on social media and I have done research and looked into that actually go to these places and they get them for themselves and they make the jewelry and all that stuff. <laughs> It's, they really be taking their time on it. I'd be here for it. I really want a lot of those crystals. And as I've showed y'all before, I have salt lamps and stuff that recharges them, child. So anyway, uh, moving right along. They wishing him good luck because he does well. But at the same time, if it wasn't for Lene, he would not be as good as he is. And we'll get to that later on. Jacob and Victor are talking. And so it's about the campaign again. And now he's talking about, no, I'm worried about your future. I told y'all, Jacob, like, even though he's a child, essentially, he's still acting more mature than Victor in this moment. I'll just be like, child, do something else. So we see Keisha. She went to the counselor at the school, the dean or whoever it is. Somebody at the school talking to them. And she's like, well, I don't think I can do this. It's too much going on. And they told her, I feel like your best option is for you to go back home. And so she was like, I can't do that. Somebody who needs my bed more than me is there. And that's just not an option for me. And so they, they just kept saying, I feel like that is your only option because you have people there who will help you. They will take your son for you while you are studying and writing papers and all this stuff. You have to have full attention. I ain't had no child. And the one time I lived on campus, I could not. Because my school is a party school. It is with the Alabama State University. is a party university. That's just one of the schools that is definitely on their list of party schools. That's what they do. Every time you look up, they have some kind of function on the campus, child. I swear. I just it, Like, I'm not a party pooper, but it's like when I'm in the middle of trying to do what I'm supposed to do work-wise... And school-wise, I don't be here for the foolishness. I'm here to do my job. And my job at that time was to do my my schoolwork. I used to be so sick and tired of the parties and stuff going on while I'm trying to do my work. I cannot concentrate. I ain't got time for it. But now, in her mind, and I'm just like, girl, please don't do it. But, of course, she finna do it, which is she finna go roll up on Emmett and try to, you know, see what a living situation with him is going to be like. Well, Lene and old girl, they're waiting, you know, and trying to be supportive from a distance. And um, it's kind of shaky, but they're going to be, they're going to be all right. They're going to be all right. At least Lene is trying because Lene don't be here for nobody. Um, The woman who Jocelyn, Rosalind, I'm sorry, Rosalind is screwing, who Victor is in this fake relationship with is trying to help him to understand like you need to accept the situation that your brother is in and if it comes out or if you speak on it you need to just speak on it in a positive way it's happening it is what it is and he's just like look the way you talk to him was sideways like it is what it is but yeah she's really trying to be positive and I don't like these moments where they seem like they kind of here for each other. I'm like, child, no. No, it's not it. Anyway, the gaming situation is going down. He is doing well. It was some 
some redneck situation going on where he kind of tried to get in his head and he cleared him. He cleared old boy. And I was like, you better do that. You made me proud. And so he made some good money. Keep trying to tell y'all get into gaming. If you're good at gaming, great at gaming. That is, that is definitely a thing. Um, and so old girl is like, I told you my crystals work. And so it is what it is. He won all this money. I think like $25,000 was up for grabs or something. So um, the girlfriend was like, you know, Lene is more like your coach. And so he got in his feeling was like, she ain't my coach. Don't went off. And so the girlfriend was like, you need to give her a cut of the money. Like you need to chill out. Like what is really going on here? Child had to read him. You don't, you don't want this because of her. Like, she used to run over you when y'all first met. Like, stop. So, anyway, um, <laughs> it is what it is. He was going to have to cough up that money. Like, sir, I understand that was a good amount of money, but you need to do what you got to do. Uh, Shad ended up meeting her parents. Hit it off well with them. I know this man who playing her daddy. I don't know why. I can't place his face right now like for real to be able to have it in my mind to say okay this is this person but yeah i know i've seen him before anyway so far he's saying all the right things i think what her sister is there is all also i'm sorry and it just seems like everything it's like she kind of trying to lead him and i'm like girl let this man do what he do child it's going well so far, even though she thinks that she need to kind of like be around a corner and kind of lead him. I'm like, girl. Anyway, so Tiffany and Emmett are talking after the parent teacher conference that went down and now they feel some type of way because they don't want their child to fall by the wayside because they have so much going on in their personal lives. So they're agreeing to do what they need to do in order to make sure that he is getting everything that he needs from them. Because you can't just rely strictly on the teacher. Like, you got to do something. You got to pick up where the teacher left off when they leave the schoolhouse. A lot of people think that it's all up to the teacher, and it's not. It start at the house. It's supposed to start at the house, let me put it like that. So anyway, at this point, Emmett is just trying to figure out what they need to do in order to make the situation work. And, um... I don't think Keisha has come to the house yet to talk to him about the living situation yet, but they need to figure it out for the sake of their child. So the dinner is still going on. They're asking him what he does for a living and all this other stuff. And eventually it gets to a point where he slips up and tells them that he's been in jail. And so it's a mess, but it got to the point where he had to set it off and they respected the fact that he set it off and they could tell that he lives for their daughter. And so they was all here for it. The sister tried it at first. I wanted to, I wanted to reach through the TV screen like, hell for no, you didn't. Like, it's like, I have moments where I be trying to ride for shot, But other moments, I be like, all right, now. Nah. Like when he was over here swiping on these helpless pictures when he got a whole girlfriend. Like, boy, if you don't stop. So anyway, um, Maisha has an event that a lot of people are um, paying to get into to see her. And it's going to be, I guess it's a showcase. And so Gemma's there as her manager and all of that. And Papa's going to show up. Papa's in the song. Kev is in the song. Child, I don't even want to go into it. But I mean, it's like she was essentially talking about her relationships with them, whether it was on the friend level or the relationship level. But I was here for it. Like, I was like, okay, then. Uh, Papa actually came to support, brought the boy, uh, the, the troublemaker, and ain't nobody got time. Like, that boy be doing the most. Papa, my thing is this. Papa, you know you're wrong. You've been wrong for a while, and that's why you're hanging out with this boy. You ain't even been able to hardly hang out with your friends that you've been friends with for forever. But go off, though. So, anyway, this boy come into the scene. And before he even get through the dough good, he going off and getting into it with the bouncer. Security. Why is you going off? Boy, if you don't go somewhere and sit down, like, he wasn't even dressed the way he was supposed to be dressed. Like, Papa had to pay extra in order to get this boy in the door. So he was like, y'all go ahead and go in. Like, it is what it is. 
So it's obvious that this boy likes Lene. And she don't know it like that. Like he rolled up on her. He was like, hey, how you doing? I like your braids. Like he really is smitten by her. Like child, I was like, sir. Gemma came out and was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? She in the back getting ready. It's going to be a great show. It is what it is. So Victor done rolled up on Fatima. He done popped up at the house. He done popped up at the house. And so she was kind of shocked to see him. But, um, sir, at this point, she's single. She can do what she want to do. <laughs> Y'all know the song. <laughs> Y'all know the song F N F. I'm just saying. So anyway, um, <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm just saying. But she really is single, so she can do what she want to do. So there's somebody in the house, and she was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm free. I can do what I want to do. You ain't made nothing official. You doing what you doing. So I'm going to need for you to understand that I'm not going to just be sitting up here waiting on you. That ain't what this going to be. You doing what you doing, so I'm going to do what I'm doing. So anyway, my Isha is doing her thing. So this boy, in his feelings, and he mean mugging, he peeping the scene. Bakari, I think that's what the boy name is. I'm so sick and tired of this boy. I don't know what to do. He always starting trouble. My Isha's literally in the middle of what she doing. So this boy get into it with the bouncer dude again. And then he pull out a gun. He wrestling with the boy. Like, they tussling. And he pull out a gun. I'm like, what was the matter with the tuck -tuck? Y'all are in Chicago yet again. Like, y'all know stuff pops off for no... Ugh, oh, my gosh. I'm just like, y'all know this foolishness pops off for no reason all the time. Uh, like, come on. Like, this this is normalcy for y'all. Why y'all ain't got no metal detector? Why he had a wand? Why he ain't at least had a wand? He shouldn't have been able to get in there with that gun. So... He get into it with him. I don't think anybody got shot. But at the same time, people running because people shooting. These people done trampled Gemma some terrible. They done trampled her. I said, oh my gosh. Don't nobody have time for this foolishness. Instantly, I was like, oh no. So then my Isha done ran to her aid and was like, somebody call the ambulance. Like everybody done ran to her. I'm like, oh God, this is too much. So, Keisha is at Emmett's house talking to him, trying to pretty much butter him up and, you know, trying to psych herself up so that she can ask him if they can live with her, with him. And essentially, he was like, yeah, you know, I need to help. You need to help. I think it'll be a great situation. We'll figure it out. Well, Gemma in the hospital, her daddy and Jacob then rolled up trying to figure out where she at. And they asked how the baby doing. They said she's stable, but she lost the baby. Child is too much. So everybody else that was already there, like all the other kids that were there, they were like, yeah, let's go. Maisha, Kevin, Papa, you know, everybody that was there, they went on ahead and left because it seemed like it's about to be a, you know, private moment, private family and boyfriend, you know, between boyfriend and girlfriend moment. Let us give them their time. And so now she talking about she should have just stayed home. It's like, girl, anything could, you could have been at the house and somebody could have came up in there, stomped you out. Like anything could have happened, ma'am. So whatever was going to happen was going to happen. It happened. It is what it is. I'm sad that that happened to you because you had come to grips with this. You were preparing yourself to be a mother, but it didn't happen. It didn't work out. Well, then we end up seeing Kevin walk in old girl his girlfriend to the house and um now he in his feelings because he didn't realize that he had all this stuff that he had to pay he gave after giving old girl 20 percent and other people they could he ain't really got the amount of money he thought he was gonna get and so she was like well that's how life goes that's how it goes so you're gonna have to get used to that especially once you really start working like <laughs> You getting a dose of it. You getting a small dose of it right now. So anyway, they had their little conversation and then she gave him a little kiss. And then, you know, he feel like he feel like he, you know what I'm saying, despite all that money he ain't got no more, he on top of the world with that little kiss. So then now we see Victor and Shaw talking after the date uh dinner situation happened. And so 
He's very happy. And you can tell that Victor is not. And so he's like, man, what you got going on with you? Like, what's wrong with you? And so he's trying to get him to live in his truth. Like, it is what it is. Do what you got to do. So then we end up seeing Jacob come in the house. And they trying to figure out what's going on with him. He just see the look on his face. He trying to get to talk to him. He just crying. He like really hug him. And like me, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like they trying to figure out like what's what's going on? Wait a minute. Who we need to who we who we need to go and, and handle? Like what's going on? Like he couldn't even say nothing in the moment. Gemma is at the house crying in her feelings. Don't really want to deal with nobody. Her daddy is, you know, of course, tending to her because it's very traumatic. Outside of the loss of the baby, she already got trampled. So I'm pretty sure she's bruised up, possibly some, you know, ribs broken, all that other stuff. And so he's trying to ask her if she need anything. And he's trying to give her a space, but she asked him if he would stay with her. You know, sleep, you know, in the room with her that night. And so he did. He ended up shedding a tear or two because he was about to be a grandfather. So... He had come to terms with how it was going to be, too. Man, Bakari had the audacity to come back up in the house. Why? You done lost your mind after you were the reason why this happened. So Jacob was waiting on him at the door. He came around the corner, started firing off on him, punching him out, you know what I'm saying? And so he was like, you the reason why my girl lost her baby. So they told him he had to get up out the house. Jacob told him he needed to get out of his house. And threw that boy bag at him. And they was like, oh, man, yeah, you got to go. So he was like, what? Boy, what you thought this was finna be? What you think this finna be? You done went off. Like, this was the one time they had to just go ahead and be like, yeah, you got to go. It's like, woo, child. Well, after everything was all said and done, Bakari ain't had no choice but to roll up on Papa and was like, I need a place to stay. And because he ain't on good terms with his actual friends, he let him in. And I'm just like, boy, that's going to be the death of you. Bakari going to get you shot. He going to get your daddy killed. He going to get you killed. Like, he is bad news. He is bad news. I said what I said. Child, not the Donny Hathaway song, child. Because I was like, no, y'all didn't. When I first saw this episode, I was like, I'm about to mute this. Because y'all ain't finna have me crying up in here. But yeah, the, the perfect song selection for this it was a Donny Hathaway song. We end up seeing Gemma's daddy. I guess after she finally fell asleep, he, you know, walked out of the room and like he just started crying. He broke down. It's a mess, child. But anyway, that was the episode. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and supporting my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Let's talk about it down in the comment section. Bye, y'all.